Hey YouTube, Sandra here, your favorite rat's nest moppy looking person. Don't worry, I'm going to be getting a haircut hopefully next week. Um, so I'm just out here uh, in the garage with the 240 and uh, I bought a few things. <laughs> One thing is, is uh, right now as it sits, uh, I just got back from a home improvement store, technically. But they do have a few AMO uh, parts and tools that uh, I believe are very helpful in keeping track of tools, keeping them organized, and making a little bit more space so that way, you know, you don't have to have four different boxes or something laid over to, you know, hold your stuff. Also, it's a little bit more ergonomical and uh, you don't have to, like, get down as much or do anything like that. And personally, it's kind of a bragging right in terms of tool accessories and items. Uh, and so we'll be going over that. Also, I uh, was able to get my weather lining and stripping off of the back window there. And uh, still need to clean this up, but don't worry. Uh, I did pick up something for this. So hopefully we will get a good chunk of our glass here uh, all cleaned up. And a good chunk of our interior there so yeah that's so besides that mess which I will definitely be covering in a uh, later uh, video I will also currently be essentially doing a quote-unquote unboxing um, some of the stuff was already pulled out of the boxes and uh, some of it was already uh, kind of cut open with the part stuff so that way I could uh, at least make sure that I had the important stuff left over so that way I wouldn't be uh, you know trying to guesstimate if everything came in the box at once and that's just me so uh, right now what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up uh, doing our whole little thing I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a walk around explaining what I got and then uh, we'll just uh, kind of do a little montage as I figure out how to put it together. It's really not that hard. It's really simple, but I just, it, it's easy. A few things here and there, nothing too crazy. So, by the way, shout out to that Jeep right there. It is not dad's Jeep but is uh, my mom's fiance's Jeep. And boy, is this thing a trooper. We have our uh, craftsman shop back here. Four horsepower and five gallon capacity. It is a dry wet vac. That's what we'll be using to clean up the glass. It is a Craftsman S2000. And it is a top box. And so I haven't unboxed this one yet at all because, well, in, in, in future thought, I just, you know, I didn't really want a top box. So we picked ourselves up a nice bottom box. Good little roller. We have our key. It comes with two, but I gave my second spare key to uh, my mom's fiance to uh, kind of, one, help keep track of it, and two, because I don't want all my keys on one thing in case I lose. All right, and we have our wheels for this bottom box here. We got our top mat. We got our key. Comes with the handle. And 
we are going to be doing that on video here soon. I'm just going to tip the box over and start putting on the uh, bomb parts there. Uh, we also went out, picked up a wire brush, kind of help clean some of that rubber still off there and potentially help us clean off some grime that may or may not be on said vehicle. 45 ounce dead blow hammer because you never know when you need to specifically hit things to get glass and things off. Um, and then uh, one thing three ton floor deck. I did not buy this. This is my mom's fiance's. He's allowing me to use it for the time being so I can save a bit of money there. We have two six ton jack stands and I should have two more coming here in the next uh, short little bit. I have, we'll move our, our box there. I have this Pittsburgh 301 piece tool set. We'll be going through a little bit later when I'm putting it in the toolbox. A dinky little two and a half ton jack that I bought forever ago because it was cheap and I needed one. Uh, I want to say that's a factory Nissan 240 jack. Uh, I know I got a second one somewhere. It's for a, uh, it's for either a 90 Accord or, or, I mean a 91 Honda Accord or potentially a 1990 RX-7. I don't know. We have a 2,000 pound engine stand that we'll be assembling in the near future. Uh, front bumper, other stuff like that. We got uh, more Pittsburgh tools. The, that is a tap and die set and an Ulta headphones, some, uh, some hose, pliers. I can't, can't even remember what it is. Uh, normal like wire cutters and other stuff. We got an S set wrench. I can't really get over there right now. It's a bit cluttered. Oh, cluttered. Um, we got an icon wrench set. We got, uh, I believe, a half inch drive and a quarter inch drive torque uh, wrench. And we got our Pittsburgh creeper over there. That's currently what we're looking at in terms of our tools uh, and accessories for the most part. Uh, if I miss anything, I will be going over it a little bit later. Uh, for the meantime, I am going to set you up on my ever so lovely and amazing non-broken window and phone stand and we'll point you over there so we can uh, do some filming and get some of this stuff going. So yeah, alright.